Believe it or not, that's actually lava, and it's a lot more dangerous in this form than you might think. So much so that the government has to put out advisories when it's around. It's known as Pele's hair and is a volcanic glass formation. So why does it look like something the cat hacked up? It forms when bubbles burst on the surface of molten lava. The force of the bubble bursting stretches it into thin, hair-like strands. These are extremely brittle and light and often get swept up in the wind. It can easily get embedded in your skin or eyes and can even cause scarring in your lungs if inhaled. That means you should probably Netflix and chill if this stuff starts raining down from the sky. The name Pele's hair originates from the island of Hawaii. It was named after Pele, the goddess of fire and volcanoes. According to legend, People who remove rocks or other materials from the Hawaiian Islands will be cursed by Pele with bad fortune. National park rangers even report receiving daily packages containing rocks that people had taken from the island. By removing materials, you're not just displeasing Pele, but you're actually breaking the law. Hundreds of people are fined each year, and some even end up in jail. So think twice before trying to take anything home. Not that you'd want to be stuffing Pele's hair into your pockets anyway. If you want to go out and see it for yourself on a day that isn't windy, the best place to look is near active volcanoes where there are large objects that it might have gotten caught on. It usually ends up downwind after an eruption. Surprisingly, each strand can be over a meter long, but since it's only a fraction of a millimeter thick, the wind can carry it for several kilometers. Tourists aren't the only ones attracted to this volcanic glass because some birds even use it to build their nests. Drifts of Pele's hair can last for years or even decades in the same spot. Because it's basically just glass, the only way for it to be removed is when the wind sweeps it away. The fact that new strands are constantly being produced means that it's a staple in active volcanic areas. It can be found all over the world, and different places have other names and different legends surrounding it. In Iceland, it's called Nornaha, which translates to witch's hair. The frequency of occurrence varies because it actually needs really specific conditions to form. The droplets of lava need to be thrown high into the air and can't be too viscous. Then it needs to quickly be caught by a strong wind that will stretch it. The higher and more jet-like the spray of lava is, the more ideal the conditions are for Pele's hair. By definition, lava is molten or partially molten rock that's been expelled from the interior of a terrestrial planet onto its surface. That means we can't actually call Pele's hair lava because it's in a solidified state. But if we're going by definitions, you can call water lava.